Hey, it's Wes with Baron Heating and BaronGreenTeam.com, BaronHeating.com. Uh, we are looking at a Coleman. Uh, it is our private label of stuff, but it is a Coleman system that is similar to York or Luxair if you're uh, buying in a different part of the of the world. This system um, is installed. We have a very large volume house. This is a four-ton, uh, five-stage outdoor, modulating 80% indoor. We did two zones. Uh, for the house we installed that uh, some zoning to take care of some needs in the house I'll go over that with you, but uh, this video is super important you get to understand a little bit of value of systems and um, You know I carry a lot of brands uh, Carrier Lennox our private label, which is Coleman uh, Daikin Mitsubishi on and on so but the deal is is that there are there really aren't any inverter systems that provide true non-proprietary control. And so one thing I love about the uh, Coleman five stage is that it allows me to use whatever thermostat system I want. And in this case, I'm using a Honeywell zone control, Honeywell static bypass, uh, which I'll explain. And then I've got two zone dampers on the system as well. So awesome. Let me go take you outside real fast and let's just get a, a quick glimpse of the uh, the actual unit. So here it's on this side of the house, it's over here to the left. It's not very far away. I want you to listen, okay? It's on full max. It's a four stage unit. Okay. Okay, so very quiet. Very excited. Now this is on full high stage. I've got both zones on. It's rarely going to happen in this case with the air conditioning. We're mainly concerned about the upstairs and the main living area uh, is secondary. So it's really hasn't been on super high speed uh, very much. And today's a nice great day, but I cranked it on so we can get worst case scenario. Okay, so that's a four ton five stage. Oh, model number CH16 uh, Coleman. And you'll notice that little things, I don't want to skip over too much because there's a lot of design here, but little things like, you know, coming out of the, the garage with a little hood and making sure that's all sealed and all that good stuff. Okay. Some of the pros that watch uh, my videos are going to say, wow, that stack in the garage is like <laughs> crazy. It's so tall. And it is. The customer was warned, but it was the only way. What I wanted to do, so if you notice, is that I've got you know, air coming down here and it splits here and I wanted to segregate the uh, main living area and the basement as a, as a zone. I couldn't get the basement and the main living area separate and so I had to consider them as a single zone. And then we were able to get the upstairs had its own riser already so we uh, put a zone in for that and then of course the static bypass. But what that allowed me to do was uh, for layman is that we're able with the zone control panel to either open a valve here or open a valve here and the system because it's five stage and fully modulating for heating um, it's going to be able to ramp down and adjust and control itself based on how much need is there for the house now this house again I couldn't isolate the basement so what we're doing in cooling is we are shutting the vents downstairs. Our static is 0.66, which is perfect. And again, we, we use the elect Honeywell electronic air cleaner to limit our, our return static. We have the fan on continuous. We did aero seal the system. So our fan, we're never going to have air going that way out of the system. So we didn't put a damper here. And when I did the blower door test, what I found was that the house absolutely required that that duct stay open 24 seven, as far as air uh, oxygen levels and ventilation. So we're always bringing air in there. And then this bypass damper, what this does is it says, okay, so think about it. If the system, both systems are on, okay, I've got air going this way and I've got air going this way, okay. What's going to happen is, is that at one point, this say this satisfies. So this shuts off. Now, all I have is air that can go this way, but the system is fully ramped up to provide air to both. Well, what this allows the, the um, system to do is go, until it can adjust itself 
to allow for the lower volume of uh, need in BTUs. So instead of having all this stress where it's hammering here and only getting to go up the side on the back side here, it's gonna be able to go up and around and make that loop again and provide some uh, back flow uh, pressure relief, okay? Now, one other thing we did was we used, uh, the one other reason why I love this system for zoning especially is that with the Honeywell Red Link, we can do wireless, uh, easy wireless control. So I have a thermostat that's connected to the main uh, thermostats, and then I have one that is connected to this EIM, this inter equipment interface module, that's wireless to the upstairs. Now something to remember, and is really cool, uh, is that even though I'm wireless to the EIM, the EIM can also control all my averaging sensors. So one thing that was really great about the upstairs and the downstairs, I was able to have the Red Link thermostat Honeywell 8000 and three wireless averaging sensors for the upstairs and three for the downstairs. Really get a great picture of the whole space um, as we went along. So let me take you inside. I want to show you something in the basement that was really important that you have to think about um, as you go through this. Okay, so as we come in here, so the first thing about the basement is that it's attached with this door here. And one of the things, this grill was not here, so you gotta remember that in heating, when the system's on, if there is nowhere for the air to go, it will pressurize the basement, which will put the main living space under negative pressure. And if my main living space is under negative pressure, then I'm also bringing hot air from the attic down into the space um, through the sides of the house, uh, through you know hot walls, etc. And so you have to provide balance. And in this case, because we have the vent shut, we, we have one vent open downstairs, just to provide a little bit. And I'll see if this will even flutter. So I think I scrunched it too much. Uh, but it was fluttering a second ago. So I'm trying to press it flat, but I can't. Okay, so air is coming from the basement up through this, and that is heading straight back to my return upstairs. So one of the things we are also doing is running continuous fan on low, on medium speed, in this case, with the volume of this house, 24-7. Um, because we aero-sealed the ductwork, you don't want to do that. You do not want to run your fan 24-7 unless you have sealed completely sealed your ductwork as much as humanly possible. And AeroSeal does the best job of that. So the air is gonna come from the basement, come out here, go up into the return and complete that cycle again. If it can't do that and it just pressurizes down there, then the other parts of the box, because this is pulling 100%, start to go into a, a vacuum because they're going, I'm not getting all that air back. So it goes, and then the air comes in from, you know, they don't have any can lights, which would be the worst case scenario, but it comes through windows and, under doors, all that kind of stuff. Something to also remember. So on this main floor, we did averaging sensors. So we have the thermostat over here. So here's the thermostat. And then what we did is we took averaging sensors and we said, okay, let's get another picture of the space. So on the west side of the house, we got one here. And then I haven't actually looked for the one in the master yet. I'm sure we put it somewhere. There it is. So there. And then and then we had this other space in here that needed to be accounted for. And so you can see how that's completely segregated. So we put one in here. And then this space being always the coldest and hottest, they're going to get uh, blinds, of course, for the windows. What we were also able to do, and this is a little trick that you need to look out for, in your own house is most houses have this it depends on the quality of the installation the original install most people are starting to do this now but there is a valve down in here that allows you to adjust airflow so this right here is on a little spindle and so you can push back you got to be careful they're really sharp but you can push back the airflow and start to balance so what we did is we closed we did that to all these to push air into that that kitchen area it was just in. We're gonna see how that goes. And then continuously doing the fan all the time helps a ton. So here is the little brain trick that we had to have. So there's that grill there. Is that if in the summer you are going to shut all the vents in the basement, let's say, or majority of them, right? 
you have to account for the static pressure of that system, being that it's now smaller for the furnace, etc. And that's why we have a five ton furnace and a four ton AC, because we're not, we're not cooling this space or even trying to. But we had the issue of ventilation. You know, it's a basement, it's danky. So what we also did is we installed a Panasonic um, single room ERV. And what that's able to do is do ERV exchange. So if you don't know what an ERV is, just Google that. It stands for Energy Recovery Ventilator. And so Google that, and it's exchanging fresh air to outside so we can still provide fresh air for the basement. It still needs it in the winter too, anyways, but in the summer it's gonna be super important, okay? Let's go back up here. And I'll take you, uh, whew. I'm gonna take you upstairs again real quick so you can see how this house was laid out. So see how we have this main area and then we've got up here. So obviously this is an entirely different part of the house from the downstairs. So we have a thermostat in the hallway, but this thermostat is sharing information with the remote sensors, which I haven't found all of them. I know I have one over here. So in a bedroom, it would look like this. Okay. So let's take one more look outside at the uh, AC and see what it's doing. The hardest part about all this is the sheer brain power. And I'm not saying like smarts, I'm saying durability of your brain while you're trying to figure this stuff out. I spent uh, an hour here the first time they wanted AC and I said, I have to spend, I can't just be like, this can't just be a regular old AC, like dump AC in this house. Um, I ended up coming back for four hours and we just dug into the house. We did the blower door. Uh, we did infrared. We uh, just went round about on the zoning and what, okay, what are we gonna do about the basement? All that kind of stuff. How are we gonna balance the airflow? Um, so this kind of stuff, and it's important that on a job like this, that someone like me comes back and you know checks things. I changed the constant fan speed. I, the guys did an amazing job. It looks fantastic. Everything I needed to have happen, happened. But there's always just like, it's so much going on. There's always just like a little thing here, a little thing there. I checked the fan speed of the Panasonic downstairs, that kind of stuff. Um, so, anyways, you can tell by the volume of my voice. I know that on a computer, you could just turn the volume up or down, but I'm just talking at uh, regular volume. So you can kind of see that this is conversationally about what that would be. And then of course on low speed, it's just like a duckless, it's super quiet. Okay, so this has been a, let's see, Coleman five stage AC with a uh, modulating 80% uh, indoor um, with Honeywell two zones. We did averaging sensors. We did the Panasonic ERV downstairs and we did a, a bypass a grill for the basement. Uh, there's one thing upstairs that we also did that I didn't show you and that's that the, the flex was kind of pinched up off the can there so we installed a, an elbow for the flex so that it could roll off a lot better and that because my static pressure was weird it was way off on the return with plenty of duct work and that's what it ended up being was a pinch in the flex duct so look out for that and uh thanks a bunch for watching been a long one but super important and super great results thanks again